Hi, and welcome to our series of educational videos that are designed to make you a smarter gambler. My name is Steve Borey, and I'm the author of the American Casino Guide, which is the number one best-selling book in the U.S. on the subject of casino gambling and travel, and the only book that comes with more than $1,000 in casino coupons, including offers for free rooms, free food, free shows, free gambling money, and much, much more. If you want to know more about me or my book, be sure to visit my website at AmericanCasinoGuide.com. In this video, we'll be hearing from nationally syndicated gaming writer John Grahowski, who will be giving us his list of the five worst bets you can find in a casino. Besides his gaming column, John has also written five books about casino gambling, including the very popular slot machine answer book. John has appeared on three Travel Channel specials about casino gambling, and he also writes monthly articles for several gaming-related magazines. Now, before we start, I need to explain that John will only be talking about games that can be found on the main casino floor. That means he's not including sports betting, where there can be some high-edge bets, such as parlay cards. So, with that in mind, here's John Grahowski with his list of the five worst bets you can find in a casino. Number five on our list is live keno. We're not talking about video keno here. Now, video keno is regulated like slot machines. The payback percentages, the bottom payback percentages on video keno machines have to be in line with the same state's regulations on slot machines. So we're going to break out live keno here separately. Now, live keno has a very, very large house edge that is dependent on the pay table on the game. Different casinos have different amounts that they pay out for your winning combinations. Some live keno games might pay you 74%, 76%. Some live keno games pay 69%, 68%. You have to be wary a little bit, but in any case, those are very high house edges. When you get down to a game that is a 69% payback, that's a 31% house edge. That means in the long run, out of every $100 you wager, it'd be $31 that the house is keeping. You know, that's the house edge. Live Kino would be number one on our list of the worst casino bets if we were talking strictly about what the house edges are. However, the saving grace for Live Kino is that it's played very slowly. You get very few decisions per hour here. It's a game that's designed for people sitting in a lounge, relaxing a little bit, watching the numbers being drawn, or someone sitting in the coffee shop who takes their time over a ticket, waits for a runner to come along to take their bets up and then bring their, their card back. It's played slowly to give time for all that to happen. So you're really making very few bets per hour. You're losing less money per hour here than on some other games, even though the house edge is very, very large. Number four on our list of bad casino bets is slot machines. And they're everybody's favorite games, it seems, these days. That's where most of the people are playing. In some jurisdictions, casinos make 80% or more of their revenue from slot machines. It's a little bit lower than that in traditional markets like Nevada and New Jersey. But in newer gaming markets, we're talking 80% plus of casino revenue is coming from slot machines. That is where most players go to play these days. And on a percentage basis, you know, this is kind of the anti-live keno thing. Whereas live keno has a very large house edge but is played very slowly, Slot machines can have a reasonable house edge, but is very, played very, very rapidly. Depending on the coin denomination, in general, a low denomination pays a lower percentage than a high denomination game. This changes from jurisdiction to jurisdiction, but kind of on an average. We're talking about a, a payback of 87% or so on a penny game, 89-90% on a nickel game. 90 to 93% on quarters, 94 to 96% on dollars, depending on jurisdiction, specific marketing goals. If you took a dollar game paying 95%, well, that's the same as a 5% house edge. A game with a 5% house edge would not belong on this list if it were being played on tables. However, slots are paid very, very rapidly. You are playing perhaps 500, 800, some players even 1,000 spins of the reels per hour. You're running a lot of money through the machines in that time, and it's the potential for large, fast losses, even with a reasonable house edge. A lot of bets. That's why slot machines are on this list. Number three on our list of worst casino bets is the tie bet at Baccarat. Now, Baccarat is a great game. It has two bets with very low house edges. If you bet on player, the house edge is 1.24%. If you bet on banker, the house edge is 1.06%. 
It's an easy game to play, low house edges. It's great. However, there's a temptation on the table, and that is the tie bet. The tie bet has a house edge of 14.4%. You're talking about a house edge that's you know, 13, 14 times as high as the good bets of the game. Don't make it. If you're going to play Baccarat, stick with the good bets. If you play that tie, you are spotting the house $14.40 out of every $100 you wager, and you don't want to do that. Number two on our list of the worst casino bets are the bad bets on craps. And craps is a game that has great bets. It's a game that has lousy bets, bets that you need to stay away from. Among the good ones, you know, pass line, if you're betting pass plus odds, you're getting the house edge down under 1%. Sometimes down under a tenth of a percent if enough of your bet is in the form of the true odds. But in addition to the good bets, Craps has some really bad ones, especially those that are at the center of the table, particularly the one roll bets. Let's take any seven as an example. Now there are 36 possible combinations of two dice. Six of those total seven. So if there are 30 ways to roll something else, six ways to roll seven. The true odds of that bet are five to one. Now, the casino only pays you four to one. The casino makes their money by paying you less than true odds. On every bet in the casino, that's how they make their money. They pay less than true odds. By paying you four to one instead of the five to one true odds, the house takes an edge of 16.67%. They are keeping $16.67 out of every $100 that are wagered on any seven. It's a terrible bet, one of the worst bets in the casino. It's especially bad because of the speed of craps. Craps on one roll bets is a very, very fast game, faster than most table games. We're talking about more than 100 decisions an hour at most craps tables. Uh, if you're playing blackjack at a full seven player table, for instance, you're playing only about 50 hands an hour. You're playing craps and just making one roll bets, you're playing 100 decisions or more per hour. So now you have the combination of a very high house edge with a fast game that is deadly for your bankroll. Stay away from the center roll propositions. You have a 16.67% if you're betting on any seven. If you're betting something like the 12, the true odds on that, there are only one way to roll a 12. There's 35 ways to roll something else. So it's a 35 to one uh, true odds. What they're actually paying you are 30 to one. You don't want that shortfall. That comes to a 13.89% house edge. It's a terrible, terrible bet. Stay away from it. And so it goes with pretty much everything at the center of the table. Basically, if you don't have to make multiple rolls in order to be a winner, you've got a bet that you don't want to make. One multi-roll bet to stay away from is the hard way. Actually, there are several hard ways that you can bet on hard 4, hard 10, hard 6, hard 8. And a hard way is the two dice being the same number. A hard 4 is 2-2, two, two. a hard 10 is 5-5, five, five, and so on. And what happens is that you win if the shooter rolls your hard way before he rolls that number any other way or before he rolls a seven. So you lose if the shooter first rolls any other one of your number or rolls a seven. There's a lot of ways to lose and only one way to win when you're betting a hard way. The house edges are high. On a six, for example, you need to roll three three. Well, there are four other ways to roll a six and there are six ways to roll a seven. So you have ten ways to lose, you only have one way to win and the house edge is 9.09%. It's the same on 8 as it is in 6. It's the same math. It's 9.09% on a hard 8. Hard 4 and hard 10, the house edge goes up even higher. It's 11.1%. The hard ways are bets that you do not want to make. Stay away from them. Stick to the good bets at craps. Stay away from either the one roll propositions and stay away from the hard ways. And for number one, our worst bet in the casino, fortunately, it's a game that you don't see as much on every casino floor as you used to. This seems to be fading away a little bit. You do still see it in some casinos, and that is the big six wheel. Some people call it the wheel of fortune. It's a, it's a vertical wheel. And in, on the wheel, there are 54 spaces. 24 of them have $1 bills in them. And then some have $2 bills, fives, tens, twenties. And then there's also a joker or some other special symbol, and usually a casino logo. You are paid just what the dollar amount says. If you, you're paid one to one if a wheel lands on a one dollar bill. Make a five dollar bet on, on the one dollar bill and you win, you're paid five dollars. On a two dollar bill, make a five dollar bet, you're paid ten dollars on up you know, so that you get paid twenty to one on a twenty dollar bill. The joker and the casino logo each pay forty to one. 
The $1 bill is actually your best bet on the big six wheel, but it's not very good. Like I said, there are 24 $1 spaces on the wheel. There are 54 possible spaces. If you bet on $1 for a sequence in which every spot on the wheel showed up once, and you were betting $1 each time, you would bet $54. On the 24 times that it landed on a $1 bill, you would keep your $1 bet, you'd get another dollar back, you'd have $48 out of, your, out of your $54 at the end of that sequence. The casino would have $6 in your money. And that $6 out of the 54, that is 11.1%, that is the lowest house edge on a big six wheel. On the other hand, you go on up to the casino logo or you go on up to the, uh, the joker, you don't get paid, if you bet on one, you don't get paid on the other. Those are separate bets. They pay 40 to one. Now, if you made that same sequence and bet on everything once and your casino logo came in and once, you would have, at the end of that sequence, betting $54, you would have $40 in winning, plus you keep your bet, you have $41 out of your 54. The casino has the other 13. That is an excess of 24%. It's a 24% house edge on a game that doesn't move anywhere near as slow as that Keno bet. That's, that's not quite so bad since the game is so slow. No, this is a faster game. 24% house edge is just awful. Stay away from the Wheel of Fortune. If you want to know more about me, you can look on my website, which is CasinoAnswerMan.com. I write a weekly column that goes out to newspapers and websites. One place you can find that is called Casino City Times. I write for a number of magazines, including Casino Player, Midwest Gaming and Travel, Casino Journal, Slot Manager, Strictly Slots. And I've written six books on gaming, including the Casino Answer Book, the Slot Machine Answer Book, the Video Poker Answer Book. Don't forget that you can see more of our educational gambling videos on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash American Casino Guide.